Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about why everything physical isn't actually physical at all. Starting out, when we get down to the subatomic level, solid objects are actually 99.9 .9 plus percent empty space. You think about how much space is between the planets and the stars and the solar systems. And that is how much space is between the electrons and the protons, neutrons at the subatomic level. And within those particles even, there are even smaller particles called quarks, up quarks and down quarks, basically positive and negative. And scientists still don't know why when you try to put your hand against a solid object, why it appears solid and your hand can't go through even though it's mostly empty space. Vast, vast, vast majority empty space. They're not sure why. The next part is what Nobel Peace Prize winners from last year proved, and that's that local realism is false. Local realism basically is in a simplified way of thinking about it. You ask the age old question, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's there to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, in this understanding, the tree doesn't actually exist. All the particles that we perceive as physical are in a state of quantum flux all the time. And until there is an observer, someone there to perceive it, it's not there. It doesn't exist until it is perceived. So what this tells us is that the true nature of our reality is that everything that you see, hear, feel, touch, smell, taste is being rendered instantaneously in the moment as you perceive it constantly it's essentially like we're in this amazing simulation like a vr simulation where nothing is in front of you except quantum potential but because you're perceiving it when you turn on the headset and you're perceiving it you see it you turn off the headset it's not there you could think of that as being awake when it's turned on being asleep when it's turned off so it's pretty fucking cool you know <laughs> it's wild um but yeah the truth about our reality is that there is nothing physical we are all everything our bodies everything is energy in a state of vibration that's being rendered instantaneously and filtered through our consciousness. So, yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. Uh, I am an awakening and self-love coach. I love to help people know themselves and understand the universe simultaneously and to understand that we are in charge of our realities and creating our realities within consciousness there is the collective reality and there's also the individual reality and you're in charge of your individual reality and that's why it's true you have to believe it before you can see it because your subconscious through which your consciousness is flowing dictates what's being rendered. And if your subconscious believes that what you're saying is a mundane, boring, black and white reality where things are a certain way and everything's fixed and 
how your day was yesterday is how your day is today is how your day is going to be tomorrow. If that's what you think your reality is, that's what you will experience because that's what you believe to be true. And that's why they say children actually have much more magical experiences and have this very different perception of reality than we do as adults because we've been conditioned over time to perceive everything a certain way that this is the world the way the world is and for you to think differently would be bad in some way you know you need to be normal you need to be like everybody else but that's not true you need to follow what's in your heart not what's always in your head because guess what's in your head the fear center so every time you're thinking and feeling fear that's your mind it's not your heart your heart tells you what's true your heart tells you where to go your heart tells you how to perceive this but if you're always just listening up here and not down here you'll never know how to tell what's true you always just be guessing or looking to somebody else to tell you what's right but if you could start listening to your heart more you could start seeing what lights it up what gets it excited what makes it feel warm and loving and happy to be here rather than what makes you feel bad or bored or dread or anything else depressed realize that that is a distortion of reality because you've learned to see things that way but if you could retrain your subconscious mind, which is totally possible, then you would have a completely different reality. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this shifted your perspective a little bit and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.